The truth is, Sawit did it! If you were, in fact, tapping the phone at the office, it means you've committed a crime! Shut your spiky-headed face because no one gives a cuss about some freaking water tap, gosh darn it! That where mousy girl killed her sister and I saw it happen, gay! Uh, okay. No, no, no! I can recite all the names if you want. Anything but that. Uh, oh. So, what happens now? I confess. I confess. The lawyer is innocent. That means we must further investigate this possibility. <laughs> order! Order in this court! But he really needs us to help him! So let's do what's right! Defeat the evildoer! He doesn't kill people, he saves them! And now we gotta save the Steel Samurai! In turn, coincides directly with the victim's time of death on the autopsy report. You were the one who killed Jack Hammer. Isn't that true? Yes. I can't deny it any longer. I killed him. It was my fault. That's the guy! Action! You don't have to answer that question! It's simply more of the same basis conjecture that That's defense. enough. <laughs> I've done what I wanted to do. It's over. You fool. What are you doing? It's just as this young man says it is. My real name is indeed Yanni Yogi. And, and furthermore, prove that you were at the scene of the crime that day. Without a doubt. <laughs> so, it's over. Murderer! <laughs> That's the scream I heard that day. So it was you. Damn you, Miles Edgeworth! Neither you nor your father will ever take me down! <laughs> There's no need. You've done it yourself. With your hubris. On that day, 15 years ago, I had been searching through the court records room. The father died without ever truly knowing who took his life. That explains why his spirit accused Yogi of his murder. Or maybe he wanted to shield his son from taking the blame. I never imagined that this bullet would come back to wound me once again. Not after all these years. It wasn't the bullet that wounded you. It was true! <laughs> Arrest him! At least that's what everyone believed. However, that was not the case. But wait, what about the body found inside the car? That was eeny miny, burned beyond all recognition. <sighs> so, what do you have to say, Mimi Miney? has nothing to do with the murder! Dr. Gray originally wanted to summon Mimi Miney's spirit to address the controversy and the patient's deaths. I guess the jig is up, huh? What did you say? Yes, what he's saying is true. I am Mimi. I'm just a murderer. Ba Wait! Uh, Regina? I haven't gotten a chance to apologize to you yet! Apologize. Please don't. All of this is my fault. First Matt, then Leon and Daddy. They're gone because of me. It's not him. It was me. I should take the blame. So you should put me in jail instead. Please. That's 
kind of you. But I'm the only one who meant to kill anybody. Acro. Regina, do you understand why Acro tried to hide his crime? <laughs> What's with you? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Sorry. Guess it's time you met the real Mad on guard. <laughs> <laughs> As promised. I am not a zoo creep! <laughs> Hands of a ruthless assassin. <laughs> Regardless if you're guilty or not, your life is over! <laughs> <laughs> I believe that this murder trial has finally reached its conclusion. I pronounce the defendant, Matthew Ungard. Wait! Wait! I did it! I had him whacked off! What is that supposed to mean? I hired the killer to murder Juan! It's all because of me! No, he's gonna murder me! I can't go back home! Not now, not ever! Just say I'm guilty and lock me up! Please! Very well then. After considering the arguments that have been put forth on all sides in this case... I declare that the defendant, Mr. Matthew Ungard... ...is guilty! Ah!